Hola, como estas? Buenos dias. Yes. So, <coughs> let me see if this is good. This is good. So, entonces, uh, last day in the DR for now, because I'm coming back again, but uh, the last day in the DR for now, I leave today. My flight leaves about 2.45 or so in the afternoon. But we have a two-hour drive from Jarabacoa to the Santiago Airport. So we got to allow for that. And then I probably should get there at least two hours early because, you know, I got to go through customs. And, uh, yeah, we got to wait another country. So I got to go through customs. But that all, uh, I don't, I'm not, mm, I want to sit in the sun and I want to just get well and I want to drink tea. And it's another beautiful, blessed day. And I don't know how I'm going to go home and compare anything to this. So I'm not going to compare anything to this. Um, it's been magnificent. I know a lot of times when I come back from vacation, I don't know, I don't know if any of you have this, and I wanted to ask you, but every time when I was, when I used to travel from California to New York to visit my family, or, or anyone who short one to London and came back to Cali, or most of the time when I travel, go to Trinidad and come back, I used to always get like a little bit of sadness, like a, almost like a, I don't know, I, for lack of a better term, I used to call it almost a depression. Like, I don't know if that was, because I was, I was sad of leaving the place I left, you know, leaving where I was, or that I was sad that I was coming back to this other place. I think it's spiritual. I think it's like a releasing, it's a connection that you make to land, a connection you make to people and land. And I think that that has a great effect on us when we're traveling. And I made a, a tremendous, tremendous connection here to me, Madre Marlene, like she is my love, my corazón, my heart. Like I love this woman and I am so glad that uh, I was able to be here. You know, yo quiero uh, uh, to República Dominicana uh, otra vez. I want to come back again. Um, <coughs> uh, yo tengo uh, uh, um, I've been I've been welcomed here with op open arms, and I know I got to keep my Spanish, but I got a friend here, so I'm gonna be able to keep talking Spanish for a while over the phone. And then I got my ma my maestra. I, I'm gonna get this language down. I'm really considering even coming back here and just living for a whole year, and just getting the language down. Like I I would do that. Like if there was a place that I wanted to, because I want the language. I mean this is, I like I said, let me go home and relax and think about. But I've been invited, let's just put it that way, to stay, to come back and stay for a year or two right here. So, uh, aquí, in our uh, Jarepacoa. So, uh, and lots to tell y'all, you know, I'll tell you another, I'll tell you when I get home when I can think about what I'm gonna do. But I'm very much considering uh, staying, you know, like, I, I, don't, I don't know, I guess it is moving too, because like I said, you're gonna be living there for a while, not forever, but a year or two. I feel like at this point in my life, like why not push the envelope totally? Why not if you really want the language? And I, I there's a lot of ways to learn. And I, I do feel like immersion is it. I understand. Yo comprende mucho español. Mejor, mejor, better than, than como yo hablo that yo hablo, like that I can speak. So I understand more uh, Spanish than I can actually speak at this point. It's amazing how much I understand. That that does something, that's that's immersion. Because that's because you can, because for me, you know, I have to get the words out, it takes a little time. And right now, sometimes I'm still translating from English to Spanish, especially when I'm doing, there's another thing about the video, it's going to be nice to be able to have a channel where I can just speak Spanish all the time. Because with y'all, I'm thinking about, I'm going to say these words in Spanish, and then I'm going to translate what I said. Which makes me think in English, because I'm, I'm thinking about how I'm going to tell you what I said. So that's why Spanish channel is going to be a canal, a Espanol canal, a canal Espanol. Uh, it's going to be very good for me. Mucho, mucho muy bueno uh, para mí. Uh, for me, for me, uh, I know that because uh, uh, yo tengo uh, 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 a need, uh, yo tengo necesito uh, para o por uh, español, uh, hablo español, I have a need to speak Spanish, it's deep within me, 
and uh, in, in me, God of Zoom, in my heart. So, uh, and I love the language, and I love the way people speak it here. So you can hear it like that. I don't care how fast they're talking. I know what they're talking about. I know what they're, the gist of it. I, it's like almost, I almost know even every word. And every word I don't know, I learn. So that I know how to express myself in another way. So, it's, and, and why is that? Because I, I was here, because I immersed myself. I listened, I learned, I know. I know, like I do. So once I can translate the hearing, then I'll, I can translate that into the speaking. And I, I can do that by continually speaking it to people or people speaking it to me. So I do have, like I said, a Spanish partner that I think is important to have when you go back. And um, también mi maestras es es me familia so my teachers are also my family which is really wonderful so my teachers me maestras 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 or me profesoras Irene y uh, Camila uh, are always like always like we are uh, siempre siempre uh, nosotros uh, 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 familia forever and ever and siempre siempre y siempre see all of the time Todos forever, siempre. So that's the beauty of it all too, is that I have this family. I made a real live connection. Like I love it, I love it here. Like don't be believe, there is so much of uh, Republica Dominicana that I haven't even seen. That's what they told me. It's like, there's so many places we want to take you. Mi profesora Camila uh, said to me, she's like, Lisa Maria, uh, yo tengo, uh, uh, yo tengo voy o voy a va miles vamos va males I don't know I'm trying to conjugate uh, to have a carro she was like I'm gonna get a car I'm going to get a car because when, when you come and other people it's gonna be easier for us to go from this part of the Republic of Dominicana to the other parts it's a lot of this country to see and that's why I'm glad I chose for me you know uh, uh, for me, uh, I am a story uh, feliz that I chose the DR, Republica Dominicana, uh, como uh, Puerto Rico, because I, I, I think, yo penso, that there is muy uh, uh, mas uh, to see here. So it's a lot more to see, a lot more to do. And it's a very, like it is, it's colorful and it's beautiful. And like the experiences I will never forget is, you know, driving on the back of a moto. Like that is an experience in itself. Like, OMG, I can't even, I did it twice too. And in Puerto Plata. So, uh, you know, entonces, uh, muy uh, feliz experience. Like a very much more of an experience in Puerto Plata. It was very beautiful. Mm, muy, muy bonita. Uh, um, but uh, I, I, I'm excited um, about life, mi vida, mi vida, not just life, but mi vida, and what it's going to say. Like, I'm ready to be bolder. Like, I'm, I feel stronger. I feel like less, even less fear, because I did something that was scary, and now I did it. And I, I'm, I'm almost sure, y'all, that I think I'm hearing a call to, like, park it in, in the DR for about a year and learn the language. I can't understand why, what, where, what, but I know it. You will learn it by being here, if you want to. If, you know, if uh, no socials, uh, you will do, do aprendes uh, es, uh, espanol uh, if you want to. If you don't want to, you won't. You could, you could be here for years and you don't have to learn one word and you will find enough people that will uh, try to speak English with you or, or will speak English with you, going to do that you will. But if you want it, you gonna get it. And you gonna, it's okay. Like you gotta train sometimes people because they don't know you really, they don't really understand how much you want it sometimes. But they, they when you let them know, they do. <coughs> so <coughs> make friends. So when you do visit, you go home, make friends here so that you can have people to talk to in in spanish so it's gonna be fun <laughs> weird it's gonna be weird to go back home uh and um talk so much english yes or not hear it like i'll tell you my ears 
my ears are so much more trained to uh let's go in the front too because i, I want to show you the front oh look you coming with me baby oh let me show you my beautiful ricky oh ricky see ricky that's my baby you know life changed when my baby is a, is a is a battle when me baby baby is a battle now you know that i'm in love i'm in love with ricky ricky is everything so i want to take my little walk around i see ah me day me my today is making me some day i'm going i'm going to get this tea y'all hold on because we need to have tea and i'm going to put your hair thank you for because it's so important so important Hey ladies, so yeah, so this is what I do every morning. This is my tea, and it's ginger. Good morning, buenos dias, buenos dias. And I'm probably gonna have some la lechosa and mango, mango. and uh, I always forget bananas. It's not banana, you can say banana, but it's another name for it. I'll probably have that. But this right now, I'm working on this right here. And I'm blessed. All right, ladies. I love you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.